The title of this video may say that this video is on lighting, but in reality it's about a feature in Pygame that's fundamental to implementing lighting. I'll still be implementing a lighting system for particles here, but this is just the use of a feature that's useful for lighting. So the basic idea here is that in Pygame's blit function, which is where you put one surface on top of another surface, there are special flags which you can use to modify how that blit is applied. The main one I'm going to be using here is blend RGB add, which allows you to add the colors of one surface onto another surface. So say if your background is green and you've got an image that's red, completely maxed out to 255, and you put them on top of each other with the blend RGB add flag, you'll get yellow. The idea here is that instead of just completely overwriting the color that's on the uh, surface you're blitting onto, you are modifying it. There's a bunch of different flags that allow you to modify in different ways. I will have, leave a link to the documentation in the description with the list of flags. If you want to figure out what they all do, I'd recommend just trying all of them yourself to see what they do. Uh, that's how I figured it out. So what I've got here is my code for my particles video. It's just slightly modified, so I'll show you that real quick. So compared to my particles video, the particles are bigger, they last longer, and I've also added this uh, bluish purple rectangle in the background. So I'm going to be adding some lighting to those particles so they kind of glow. The reasoning behind having the uh, rectangle in the background is so that you can see how the color addition affects things. The nice thing about the color addition is that it also stacks on top of itself, so if you draw a bunch of color additions near each other, They'll kind of merge and create a smooth-ish glowing effect. It actually looks pretty cool. So traditionally, you'd make your own image and put it onto another image with the flags. But what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to uh, generate an image within Pygame instead of loading one in. Uh, the reason for that is that I want to have a dynamic radius for the glow of the light. So I need to be able to dynamically generate circles. The issue with using Pygame to draw that circle on its own is that you can't apply special flags to it. So I have to generate a surface and then draw a circle onto that surface, and then I can draw that surface that I drew the circle onto onto the main display with the flag. So I'm going to create a function for drawing circles onto a surface just so I can get a circle surface. So define circle surf with radius and color. It doesn't need a location because you'll add that later, it's just a surface. So surface is going to equal Pygame to surface, radius by two, radius by two. That's just going to be big enough to fit the circle since the diameter of a circle is just the radius times two. Then I can draw the circle. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing the circle with the color given for the function at the location of the radius. Because Pygame.draw.circle draws circles by the center, so like, if you give it a location, it'll draw it around the center. So you have to offset it so that it fits within our surface, because if I just do 0, 0, the, uh, 3 quarters of the circle are going to get cut off. So I have to find the middle of this surface right here, which is just radius. And then here's the radius of the circle itself. Now I just need to set the color key and return the surface. The color key is so that if I blit the surface somewhere else, it'll just get rid of the black that's originally from this surface here, and it'll only show the circle. So now down here, this is the particle code where I handle each individual particle every frame. That's what this for loop is for. So there's a lot of values in here. You don't really need to pay attention to these too much. For the most part, I'm just going to set the radius of the glow to the particle's second value in its array. The second value is the duration that the particle will remain. Uh, it subtracts from it and then removes if it's been long enough. I'm going to multiply this by two because I want the glow of the circle to be bigger than the circle itself because as you can already see, I'm using this value here. While it's supposed to be the duration of the circle, I also use it as the size of the circle. Because once the circle's size is zero, it's effectively gone. So now I just have to render my circle surface with the special blit flags that Pygame has. So screen is my main display surface. I'm going to put the circle surface 
with the radius of the radius I have given, well, that I just generated, and the color of 20, 20, 20. That's a very dark gray. But the thing to remember about the flag I'm going to be using is that it adds the RGB values. So in reality, it's just making all the colors that are within this circle, uh, 20 uh, red, blue, and green brighter. So now I'm just going to take this section here because that's the location I'm rendering at. I'm going to, ooh, my IDE is doing some weird stuff right here. And I also want to offset this by the radius because like I said, this one's blitting by the center, well, drawn by the center, and then screen dot blit, or just the dot blit function goes by top left, so I need to go minus radius to align this. And then finally, I just have to set the flag, so special flags equals blend RGB add. This is the what this whole video is about, just this one section right here. This is what allows you to do that thing where you add the RGB values. And I seriously recommend you take a look at the documentation that I've linked in the description so you can mess around with the other flags and see what they do. It looks like I forgot to close my function call right there. Anyways, so this is the final result. As you can see, the there's a glow coming from the particles. And that glow is not messed up by crossing over to the purple, blue rectangle in the background. And when the particles are closer together, you can see it's a little bit brighter if you look closer to where my mouse is. And this is just the general lighting effect I use for particles. Uh, you can also use it for things like torches or whatever, those types of lighting effects where you have a circular effect. Uh, this is also useful in terms of ray-casted uh, lighting. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video, but you can use RGB add to brighten an area. It looks a lot better than just blitting a bright color with an alpha over everything else. That looks muddy. This looks cleaner. Anyways, one final thing I want to do here is I want to demonstrate how you can change the color here. I'm going to switch this to a bluer light. And as you can see, there's a blue color coming out of my particles now, which looks pretty cool. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, you can head over to my Discord server. I've got a channel dedicated to questions. And if you're interested in my projects, uh, I'm, I've currently got a devlog series on this channel in which I actually did something with particles pretty similar to this, where I've got torches that are spewing off sparks that look like this. Also, if you want to see more frequent updates, I do have a Twitter account where I post some of the progress I'm making. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.